Alrighty, folks, what is going on today? Uh, we're going to be going in with Vendredge, but first I would like to basically show you guys the deck that I did play at San Diego. And, and before before you go ahead and say, why the hell are you playing 46? Um, it, it just, it was a last minute thing, like I said uh, in Monday's video, if you guys have not watched it. Uh, what I pretty much said was, I was I actually had it down to 40. Um, I didn't have... This, all this is mostly in the side deck, except for like composers. I wasn't playing composers in the side deck. Um, these were not in here. These weren't in here. And I believe I had my second barrel. So it was at 40, but at 40, I just opened it. I was opening up hands of Strider's Core, Battlelord Slayer, and like a, 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 a Unizombie or something. And it was like, I just kept opening too many Vindred. So what I pretty much did was basically, what I did was just mucked it up increased the card count I, I got to around 45 and 46 but i didn't really know what to just take out i was going to side the, the third call by the grave and i'm like damn you know uh hand traps really hurt this deck so i need to main it um so i just uh, ended at 46 and um the funny thing about it is i did not draw bad all day there's only one game where i drew bad which was no it was two games it was two games i actually drew bad um but uh the main problem was just i was just not ready for secret village because it was just um it was just too much for me i would say um way too much uh secret village is just unfair um and that's really uh, like i told you guys yesterday i played three altar guys out of four rounds they all mained um no two of them main secret village the third one sided in game three and drew it um so there's I, I just couldn't play now that's that's a whole entirely different thing from the deck doing awful now if the deck was bad I, i'll tell you guys that off top but like i said um i went to game three instead of the game i won i went to game three so that's what three six nine eleven i played 11 games only drew terrible twice um i wasn't expecting to play that many altar guys but G like jesus christ man it's just after you lose to the first one you play another one like it's like all the altar guys was like doing bad and like there's no way for me to climb out that hole um, but like I said, I had the red reboots in the side really for the altar guy because I really wasn't too w worried about altar guys because like I said, I can pretty much um, beat altar guys comfortably. Well, at least I thought I can beat altar guys comfortably, but um, I really didn't expect too many secret village builds to be running around. Um, I just thought like that. I understand anti-spell. Anti-spell wasn't the problem. It's just like Imperial Order or secret village and there's really nothing I can do because... Um, I wasn't able to pretty much to establish a monster. So what we're going to do today, we're going to play this deck and uh, we're going to see <laughs> how good in testing this would have did on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro because like I said, I built this literally last minute um, just while I stopped drawing uh, Vindreds. But yeah, I definitely have a lot of changes I would make to this deck or a different way, not to this deck, but I would make a lot of changes to the deck. And I'm going to just try a different route with the deck because apparently um, Altergeist is literally like a magnet to this deck. So yeah be right back all right so we're going to be getting a match today um and let's see what we can do against hoo hoo bk and uh usually this deck is just okay well um <laughs> this is a bad hand uh this is terrible oh my god is this okay see this is what i'm talking about and is this shit like this where you just can't do anything it's hurtful uh my god do we just like this is what i'm talking about look as you can see i play what 20 24 monsters there's no reason this happens it's just random shit carter them oh thank god it's not a card but anyways we can definitely get called oh, this is why i hate so charge anyways we can just set this stuff and uh go from there anti-spell fragrance we'll see look this is what i'm talking about i play this shit all the damn time and it doesn't make sense we'll set this also um i see this is what i'm talking about it's like a magnet to this deck as i played anything that stops spells and like i said i wasn't too i wasn't um i wasn't too uh, i guess where I, I wasn't worried about anti-spell anti-spell is not the problem because at least i can activate him to turn after but just when i can't activate something it, it just really hurts and as you can see here we're drawing literally the less version of the deck which is it's, it's just weird but we'll work with it there's a mizuki all right so let's go ahead and set that and um yeah let's just set that and let's see what we can actually do because we're playing against spectre daughter doc deck now there's definitely a lot of scapegoat sure 
Um, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna hit him with the young compost. And this is why exactly why I love uh, compost is because it's easy outs to possibly, I believe, ev no, not yet. To every link is just an easy out. So right now he's about to make a bore load and just get compost. And then, <laughs> like, it's just nothing. I, I really liked compost. I really, I, I most likely should have played torrential. Did not, not even most likely. I definitely should have played torrential. Um, because Torrential was this uh, would have been very fantastic. Kind of, it would have got me out of a couple games. Oh wow, he had he actually went. I don't know why he did that though. That didn't make too much sense. If he was making bore load, that was kind of dumb. Um, I guess he can't. He's not gonna make the bore load now. Um, hopefully he attacks with this. He doesn't. He attacks with that. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll let it go. I'll let it go for right now because we we'll be able to attack over it um, next turn. That's what 34. Uh, we're we're fine. We're fine. But yeah, torrential definitely should have been for the compulsors because um, there's not really too many things that can stop a torrential. A lot of people aren't many mass destruction. And me playing three altar guys out of four, I believe torrential would have did major work because they continued to summon like after they did their little multi flicker play. Which was, uh, I guess, cool. You should have turned that little 500 to attack. Just got a monster. You born this Mizuki and attack over this Inspector Border. Remember before he flips a what's the name? Watch, I know he's gonna flip it. I hope he goes Borlo because that'd just be so fucking funny. Oh, he's not gonna do it. All right, so let's top deck something good. Well, I'm going to do a good play. Uh, I believe he has strike set, so don't know if I want to even do that to begin with um, yeah let's see let's see what he actually has if he has nothing we're straight um, let's see Phantom Wings um, this special summons from the graveyard I should be, I should technically be able to get negate it but it's not worded like that what happens target if gains 500 so we'll do this and compose it um, Yep, we'll compose it. So now that dies. And if we get the replay, we'll just attack over this. Because that's the cool thing to do. Uh, what does it do? It gains 800, so it'd be 23. Um, I guess we'll compose that. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else we can really fucking do. Solemn freaking judgment. Wow. See, this is the stuff I lose to. I just lose to random shit. It's okay. We'll just go to game two. We'll just go to game two. Um, see, look. We're deciding stuff like this. Stuff like this. And, um, hmm. We'll take out Forbidden Chalice. I don't think that really does anything. Does it? I don't know. Definitely, no, I don't know. Because I'm going. I don't think he plays hand traps. So let's just cut these out. Uh. Watch right before I play. Watch when I play a hand trap. I'm gonna take out definitely effect veiler. That's kind of dumb. Um, I actually have to put a card back in here, huh? We'll put this in there. Actually, we'll put both of those in there, and we'll take out the uh, compose is pretty decent. Um, we'll take out our forbidden chalice, and we'll go first this time. Uh, all right, see there we go. We have a very terrific, good hand. I definitely shouldn't have played this first. Ah, oh, I thought, I was, thought I was getting ashed here. Um, that's all right. And then we'll um, I'll use this a Lord Darkness. This is out of deck. Okay, well that's that's that wasn't what we were supposed to draw, but we'll run with it. Um, let's go ahead and evolution here. Definitely have to get to what's in evolution for Battle Lord, sending Battle Lord to the graveyard. Actually, I'm gonna send Hound Horde and Spirit Master. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. Because that's what the hell I want to go for. Um, hmm. I already have a Slayer, so this is fine to do this. Now that's that was that's 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 a fucking hand right there, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is the good. This is good Yu-Gi-Oh right here, man. This is good freaking Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. So here, what I can technically do is I can do the play I want to do. Uh, let's hope that we have a Stridus, even though I already know it's probably got banished. All right, so that's oh fuck, it did get banished. Fuck, if Striders didn't get banished, we would have been straight. Um, since Striders did get banished, I believe like that's 
clearly not the play to be going into right now. So, hmm, actually, what can we do with this? Uh, because Battle Lords is going to kill itself immediately. So I'm thinking if we go Vampire Sucker, we can dip. We can dip Anima, and Anima would bring back Hound Horde, but then we won't be able to do. Uh, we won't be able to go into a uh, Omega. So I think Omega is better right now. Yeah, let's just go Omega. Yeah, let's just go Omega. Um, fuck, I really don't want to though. What else do I play? I play Anima, I play Core, but Core is banished, right? Oh, we could just bring back Core with Anima. And then, yeah, it can't be targeted. Um, no, I don't have a, oh shit, that's kind of sorry. Um, actually, I could, I, I could do this. I could ditch Hound Horde, I could ditch Hound Horde for Slayer, right? And then I can use these two to go into, um, I can use those two to go into uh, Vampire Sucker. Vampire Sucker can, add, no, 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 I can add another Slayer and then I can ditch Anima. And then I can go Hound Horde ditching this, special summon, draw a free card. And then, yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Um, first, let's just call, let's just call Monsters. Because uh, you never know what your opponent may has, um, but yeah, man. let's do that. Let's do that because I feel like that's pretty good to do. Um, we'll actually add another battle lord to our hand because we already have a slayer and we want to keep one at least for what's the name. Definitely dump that guy. So then, uh, since we're going to be summoning slayer, we can go ahead and ditch it. Uh, and then we can go Don Dragster, and then we can Anima bring back Hound Horde and then banish those two. I don't know what he's trying to do, but there's no monsters that you can go into. Uh, draw a free card. Now, that's really good. Um, then we can go Don Dragster, right? Go Don Dragster, and then yeah, yeah. That's that's the play we definitely should do. Um, Omega may have been the best choice, I guess. Quote, unquote, choice. But um, I really feel like uh, this should seal me the game here. Oh man, we just have to just have to get lucky. We didn't banish any ritual spells, so we definitely still have two more left in the deck. No need to do that. We'll get the Slayer out of the graveyard and we'll banish the Unizombie and the Hound Horde because uh, it's just good to do. And then we'll also set this right there. So now, the worst case scenario, he has an evenly match, but it gets negated. Um, Thunder King Ryo, that doesn't do anything. Uh, so yeah, we, we should definitely have the thing unlock. Yeah, I don't care about no, I don't care about that. I'm not going to waste my cards on that. Um, but yeah, man, you see how the deck kind of flows with the Pot of Desires and the Allure of Darkness. All that shit was pretty good. All right, so this is main phase two. I'm not really scared of Regeki. What? Oh. Okay, well, that's pretty fine for me. <laughs> what the fuck do I have in my graveyard? What's the name? Yeah, we're probably gonna win this one. Yeah, this is this is not a good look for him. Um, let's see here. Uh, hmm. What I could technically do is send Spirit Master. No, I already sent Spirit Master. I could send another Mizuki. Um. Should we just go into it? I think we should just go and attack. Because I feel like this is the better option. Let's attack over that. If you play honest, I mean, there's just... Oh, wait. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, because if, if you play honest, there's just nothing I can do about that. And look, like he draw either all monsters or he has an evenly match. Which, once again, does not matter because we have Don Drax, so we can just negate it for free. Um, unless he has two, then that's kind of a problem, but... Um, yeah, that's just nothing else we can do. It doesn't even have two. You just okay. Well, we're just gonna we're not we're not even gonna try to get this uh two. Uh, we're not even gonna try to. Uh, and yeah, I do side of uh, Vampire Froiloin because that card is pretty okay. Yeah, there we go. There's there's the surrender. Um, all right. So game three, he's gonna possibly have Inspector Border. So I will take. No, 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 I like this. But then again, I can't use it with Inspector Border. Um, hmm. Compose going game two. It's not too. I don't know. You really know what to side. I don't think he really. I think no. We have to definitely put in one of those because if he does in with Inspector Border, we can definitely out that. 
and everything else is i feel like it's fine i feel like everything else is fine but as you can see man the allure the pre-prep and pot of desires man it gets you so far in the game uh desires wasn't bad even though i keep for some reason keep going back to it um and then you just draw some shit like this and you just can't play the game and this is what i was drawing uh this is literally what i was he's probably he's gonna get anti-spell yeah this is what i was drawing um pretty much uh before before the game i was drawing this before the game if i draw if i can draw a straight and swallow slash and that's a card I, I always go away from now that's 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 good Yu-Gi-Oh, folks that's good fucking Yu -Gi -Oh right there all right so what we can do here is you know what we'll set this we'll set hound horde because then we can do some plays after that we can definitely do some plays after we're going to set hound horde banisher of radiance that's completely fine he's going to be upset um no, we're not going to do it now. He's, he's going to take the 200. He's going to activate one of his traps. He doesn't have one, so that's fine. Um, so that means I could just normal summon this Mizuki. Attack over everything. Oh, I can normal summon this. No, let's normal summon this guy. <laughs> because he pops some shit. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> um, that's actually really good. Um, I think I will go Phoenix. Do I go Phoenix? Because then this pops... Yeah, let's go. Ooh, that's kind of bad. I don't want to know that. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see here. Let's attack him and let's see what he does. We'll activate this Froiloin. Doesn't even have anything. We'll pay that hot 200. We'll pay that hot 200. I definitely side fucking Froiloin because this bitch uh, helps out so much. And it's not even like, and there's nothing really he can do. There's nothing really he can do about it. Probably gonna have a Regeki now, but he can't activate it. He has to set it. So that's cool. And like I said, um, I definitely, the reason why I cited Froiloin is because uh, uh, it's just the, the, the free. <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you summon another Banisher Radiance? Yeah, see, he has spells now. There's a Compulse. That's pretty good. Um, we'll normal summon this because I believe what destroyed and sent to the graveyard. That's fine. If you have a torrential, that's just something I can't beat. Solemn judgment. Wow, he was really serious. Um, I'm not attacking over Thunder King because I he probably has like Potter the Wally or something. Um, and that's just gonna end up hurting him. He's already paid. Hmm. Let's pay another 200. Let's pay another 200 because if, if that was a what's name, we were just gonna be in big trouble. And uh yeah, this is how you <laughs> this is how you can just play the game. And just I uh, best stick with this. This is where our forlorn is definitely in the side. I know I keep C like I knew he had it. Um sure, let's just No! Uh that was dumb. That was dumb. I probably shouldn't have composed it because no no no. If you have it, you have it. If you if you top deck the spell, you can't do anything you know. Either if this is a spell, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed if this is like a pot of the wally or something. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we can beat the C like I said, anti spell is not the problem. This is the fact that I can't activate spells is a problem. All right, so I guess since Saturday, um, I've had four bad four bad hands, which was the the this last game and then the first game was bad, but uh, we 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 pretty much got around it. As you can see, uh, game two that's the reason why Secret Village hurts is because when I can't activate nothing, I can't activate shit, and that is just you're just sitting with spells in your hand and you can't basically half your deck is dead. Because the Vindred parts are dead, um, all these spells are dead. But besides that, man, it gets does, does get going. Now, um, I'm definitely going to change this deck up, and we'll see that in the next video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, I will be back in a couple of hours, so stay tuned for that. Probably going to get another match, um, just so we can, uh, I guess, uh, you know, test more towards matches and stuff like that and as you can see look man we got done in 20 minutes there's no reason for me like I, when i knew the game was over i immediately scooped got into game two no reason to be you know sitting here taking 40 minutes of just you know even though this is automated you know there's no reason to be sitting there for you know another 10 minutes like i easily could have dragged that duel on probably another five ten minutes knowing i was losing like knowing i was in a position of not winning um but yeah we got around anyways thank you guys for watching be back in a couple of hours if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe and if you have it already and also if you guys want to donate to the channel link share the description down below and besides that i will be
back in a couple hours, so stay tuned.